So we're going to make a couple of truly English dishes. So picture yourself now in the English countryside. Okay. Look around. There's some sheep. Mm -hmm. There's some highland cattle. So how did we get around to thinking about an English dinner tonight? We had some folks send us some recipes. We are hearing from people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. The three amigos. The three amigos. <laughs> Here's a picture of them right here. We sent them some stuff. They sent us some stuff, along with some recipes yes. from the English countryside. These are legit, real farmhouse recipes mm -hmm. from the countryside. So tonight, we're going to fix something. We're going to take a trip. You can take the same trip by following these recipes. The first thing I have to do is take this English chicken. English chicken. That wow. I got in the English countryside. Wow. He said, cock a doodle do. Did he? He did. And then you threw him in. That's what he said. So and we're, we're only going to use, this is going to be a casserole, so think about this. This is going to include chicken, apples, cheese. Interesting combo. Interesting combo. And we tried this to make sure that you would like it. Now, we think in America everything has to be bold and brash mm -hmm. and beat you over the head with it. And you got to really knock yourself out with onions and beans. There's no onions in this. So we got the white sauce, we got the breadcrumbs, we're going to put a little salt and pepper in it. Mm -hmm. But the apples and the cheese and the white sauce really stand out. Yes. All right, while this is moving along nicely, do you want to cut your apples up? Yes. All right, I'm just, I like to use my apple slicer. Core. My apple core. I love that. And then I'm just going to take the skins off and we're going to slice this. So we're actually going to save an apple to decorate the top, too. Yeah. And you know, you think apple, chicken, cheese? Oh, yeah. It really does have a nice, you know, I was thinking, okay, which, which you always do. You sit down and you have a recipe. I'm trying, well, here's what I would do, and here's what I would do. So as I sit and tasted it and let the flavors come together, the more I thought about it, the more I thought I wouldn't do anything to this. It's unique. Yes. It's different. It is what it is, and it holds up. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little butter on this enameled cast iron here. And you probably need to take care of your apples. Can I steal some of your butter? You can, but it will cost you $3. And actually, I'm going to take quite a bit of it, if that's okay. Okay. At least like a third of a stick. And I'm going to take these three apples that I chopped up. Okay. And just kind of turn them over in the butter. Nice sound. Yeah. Now, we always prefer thighs. So we always eat the thighs. Mm -hmm. So we, we always have the breast left over. And that may sound strange, but I do. I like the thighs. Yes, we both do. But this, I think, is perfect for this dish. Right. And I'm just going to cut these into good bite-sized pieces for us. How's that? And that our apples like are done. I just apples have are done. Off. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of butter in this dish to begin with. A wee bit of butter, as Uncle Bob would Scottish? say. All right, so then the chicken. And I slice it up, kind of mm -hmm. bite-sized pieces. Just spread that out evenly. Beautiful, wonderful. Then the apples on top of that. And I'm going to keep some of this butter on the bottom mm -hmm. for the next apples. And I'm telling you, I know you think apples, chicken, Give it a shot. It's really Delicious. good. Delicious. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make us a little white sauce, which is just a little bit of butter, equal parts butter and flour, and then I thicken that up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get you some cheese ready. Wonderful. We got some smoked cheddar and some sharp cheddar. Beautiful. And how much cheese do you need? Oh, I would say about a half a cup. Okay. And you can use cream or milk. Pour into this. Let that thicken up. Okay, I'm going to heat my butter back up and I'm going to make a decoration for the top for you. I'm still thickening up our saucer. So we've got two things going here. Getting ready to start on a third. All right, now these apples I cut for decoration, I'm going to go ahead and toss these in some butter. Beautiful. That sound good? For the top. All right, now let's take some cheese since we're thickened up over here. And again, that's a sharp cheddar and we got a smoked cheddar too. Yeah. I'm going to put about three ounces in there. I noticed in the English recipes, they use ounces a lot. Yes, they do. And pints. Mm -hmm. And half pints. What do you think? A little more? Is that good? A little more. Now we're just going to make that nice. And the, the proper term for when this gets like it's supposed to be is ooey gooey. If you look it up in the dictionary. Yum. It's under the ooey gooey. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take that. I'm going to let you do that, Ms. Farmer. Just right. pour that over. You're just going to pour this evenly. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> How could this not you be kidding good? kidding me? And it says season. And the season is not in any way, shape, or form complicated. It's salt and pepper. All right, so we've got homemade breadcrumbs. This is probably about four or five tablespoons. We're going to take another 
three ounces of cheese. We're gonna mix that all together. Yeah. And then just put that over top of that. Just go ahead and sprinkle that around on there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? So now we're gonna take our buttered apples, put those on the top, put this in the oven. Now you can go anywhere from 350, 375, for 20 to 30 minutes. Now remember, everything's just about done here, so you're just kind of melting everything together. Yeah. Beautiful. Into the oven. And I'm gonna let you dig in first. I, I got greedy. I want some chicken and apple. Don't forget some breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. Now, she, that took you away, didn't it? It did. I didn't expect that. I think there's a genuine look on your face there. Mm. Got a little crunch of an mm -hmm. apple? The apple makes it sweet, but it's cheesy. That's delicious, too. Wow. That almost says breakfast. Yeah, it does. Because maybe the apple. Really good. That is something I will definitely think about for a brunch or, oh, yeah. or a, a very late breakfast. Or if you have leftovers, you always have leftover chicken. What a, just throw it in. That's perfect. Mm. That's delicious too. Mm. <laughs> I don't know which I like best. I don't either. I really don't. That, when you think about, you're looking at that and you think potatoes and chicken. Yeah. And then when you get that apple, it's like. A nice sweet. Think about grandma and some of the stuff she used to make. Oh, yeah. Like that. Mm. 